channel kan lang wax baxay real life abroad hadii aad rabto inaan wadamaha wadamahan ha imaado likes of australia us ah noocyo badan oo imaada jirta ay mid ka wad ay tahay ardaynimo mid labada ku iman karto skill visa misa ka oo soo qaad laga yaa family member ga inta joo ku soo doodi kara as uh, let's say like udi kara like wa qof haggi joogo i'm taking care of that person in australia kan amala rawa min samaraykan akan sa us so channel kan wax ka faaideysin waxa lagu sinaya up to date information qaabka ku iman lahayd sida ku iman lahayd process ka sida ku soo marin lahayd subscribe sa channel ka sara like sara notification button kan on Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam. Uh, yeah, kijana mtaani. So, I'm taking this opportunity to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. And most importantly, I want to thank all of you for the support that you've continually been giving me. And uh, for those who have subscribed, thanks a lot. And I told you this is the best and the best way to support me by subscribing, hitting on the notification button, putting a comment down below so I can get to know what you think. You know any feedback i i i most i i I'm most uh i really want to hear the feedback from you guys what do you think about my channel what do you think about the kind of information that i'm you know passing on i have gotten a, a positive information so far i've got a lot of people who are getting back to me talking to me thanking me you know appreciating what i'm doing and that is the best way to support me by telling me you know what do you think it is really encouraging me and it's giving me morale to continue so thanks a lot i want to thank all of you for the support and each and every person who have pre, uh, who have previously viewed my you know my 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 past videos my previous videos uh, i'm thanking you a lot guys thanks a lot and if you have not subscribed come out your your subscription button i'm kindly requesting you please hit that notification bell hit that subscription uh, red button down below Please, it's gonna be free. It's free. It will, it will not charge you anything. So yeah, be part of this family. I told you there is nothing important like growing with someone from you know from ground zero to an extent where you be you know you you be seeing you know that the, you know the channel has really grown to an extent you know of accommodating a lot of people. I believe that one day, one time, you're gonna be hitting a hundred k subscribers, thousand you know uh you know thousand subscribers. A uh, hundred thousand subscribers. It's gonna grow slowly by slowly. So, and the uh, the milestone that we got at the moment, it's great, and I'm really thankful for those who have uh, who have already subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. This is the best way to support me. Yeah, as I told you, this is the best way to support me, and I'll continue bringing a lot of stories from different people. I told you. The information that I'm giving on this channel mostly is based on my experience and experience of other people. I'm planning to go to an extent of bringing people with, you know, professional experience and expert inform, uh, expert, uh, you know, expert on, you know, on this field of migration, such kind of things, and other things that are, you know, I really want to focus on is, you know. Are trying to help people who are who are preparing to go to abroad and even those who are you know who are already there you know i can give some information that will help you to broaden your mind so today i got a very uh, a very friend of mine uh he's a he's a good friend of mine he's coming i just want to meet him get to hear his story how he came to australia you know how he get to run about australia and probably from me uh, his you know from his experience you get to learn something you get to know something so thanks a lot catch up i hope uh you you, you watch this video till the end and uh, i hope it's gonna bless you too <laughs> so thanks a lot and may god bless you channel my name is Sam and today I'm so honored I got my friend Mohammed yeah. I'll be taking Mohammed you know we'll be hearing some of the some stories some uh, experience from uh, from Mohammed how he came to Australia how he got to know about Australia and I'm pretty sure the information that Mohammed will give us is gonna help you it's gonna help someone to prepare it's gonna help uh, someone to you know to broaden their mind even those who are living abroad Mohammed will tell us you know about his stories 
and we get to know from there. So, Mohammed. Yeah, man. Welcome, bro. Thanks, Long time. Man. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for having me today. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I came to Australia in 2016 October, late 2016 October. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had some of my friends who were here, they came here as a student mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, why don't I just go there too? So, actually I knew no one by the way, so I just had like people going there as a student. So, mm -hmm. I came here as a student, mm -hmm. four years down the line here we are again, wow. so <laughs> life just keeps going on man. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. how, 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 how has been the, you know, the experience in Australia, how, you know, how can you compare Australia, the life you're living in Australia and the life you live back in Kenya, you know, how has the experience been? You know? uh, well, life has got always ups and downs, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's up to you to decide what you want to be and, you know, the kind of person you want to be. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, there's nothing, there's no smooth ride, even back at home, like, yeah, that's true. when you're back at home, mm -hmm. still life is hard. Here too, if you just decide to sleep seven days, mm -hmm. then just the same thing. Like, right. you won't be able to pay your bills, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So life is tough, but you gotta be get tougher and, you know, start making your own input and, you know. Okay, so uh, I'll just uh, take you back when you were coming as a student. Uh, what, what, what were you doing back at home, uh, back in Kenya? Uh, well. In Kenya, uh, in fact, I was a graduate. I graduated from University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I did international studies. Mm -hmm. uh, 2015, I graduated 2015. There was no jobs. I'm working for a year. <laughs> you <laughs> know, same story, the right? same story, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who are just doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, why don't I just do something different? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the time I decided to give it a go. Mm -hmm. Coming here as a student and, you know, just started life fresh again. Wow. Yeah. So uh, you said you heard about Australia and coming to study in Australia through friends who yep. are living in Australia. Yep. So uh, how was the process? Where did you start? You know, and uh, you know. Uh, well, I was connected to a certain agency. I went to the agency, mm -hmm. and uh, like just like any other process, I had to submit my papers, and you know, and of course, you need to have some financial backup for you to come here like you know mm -hmm. i think i spent around 700,000 kenya shilling if i'm not wrong oh yeah uh like that includes the school fees and uh the health the medicare or the health card thing mm -hmm. and uh yeah the health insurance so including even the 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 tickets you know wow. it's inclusive of everything so you need to have that financial backup for of it mm -hmm. Like 700 is a lot of money, or around 650 to 700 is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that capital first of all, mm -hmm. then just kick off the process. Wow. Although things have uh, have changed, like I've asked one of the one of the guys agents like two weeks ago, because I was planning to bring someone over, mm -hmm. and he was like, man, uh, if that person has finished high school, mm -hmm. 2019, mm -hmm. and latest 2018. Mm -hmm. I think there's high chances for such people. Mm -hmm. But during our time, 2016, when we were coming here, mm -hmm. I saw someone who finished high school 1990. Wow. 1990. Wow. So, so he came here as a student. So, so now mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. those people who have finished 2018, mm -hmm. have completed 2018 high school, mm -hmm. or even 2019, mm -hmm. those people have got high chances. Mm -hmm. so they should. They should take this advantage because you may never know maybe as time goes by mm -hmm. rules are becoming harder and tougher things keep changing mm -hmm. especially in these uh, first world countries where yeah. laws keep changing daily you know mm -hmm. so uh, you want to say age age is really ma you know age, age matters uh, you know in terms of uh, how much you're going to spend and uh, the information that you're going to submit because the, the longer you stayed uh, you know since you finish your high school to the you know to the period of time that you are applying for your you know for your visa or to go to another country you have to account for all that time and the longer you have stayed the, the the more document you have to submit or the more stories you have to tell and the more money you have to spend on this journey well uh actually actually the guy was pretty much specific he was mm -hmm. like if 
that cousin of yours who wanna come here, finish high school before 2018, let's say like maybe 2010, 2008, mm -hmm. is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Like it was like, he was like, even don't even try it. Yeah. Cause it's like, you know, it's an automatic, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, they will be like, you have already spent, there are some money that will be able to get it back mm -hmm. and there's that money that you won't be able to get it back. Mm -hmm. So he was like, but if the person finished 2018 high school or 2019, mm -hmm. there's high chances of getting the visa. Oh, yeah. So guys, you get that. Uh, I think we're gonna make, uh, you know, uh, a topic for another day for that one. So yep. today I wanted to focus on when you came to Australia or when you landed to Australia. How are things be, you know, you know how, how are the things, how, how did you take Australia? How, you know, how are the challenges, you know, by then when you landed, you know, when you were new, you had, you, you had uh, no one to, to give you a proper orientation in Australia or you had someone to give you an orientation in Australia. You know, how did you take it? You know, how was it? Ah, uh, well, mm -hmm. it was just a challenge. Yeah. Really, really. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. <laughs> it was really challenging. Uh, I remember I came here knowing no one mm -hmm. and uh, I had to go to rent an apartment. I had to spend an apartment with a 68 year old uh, Italian fella guy. <laughs> oh yeah, so, I remember, yeah, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I man. think we're gonna make a, you know, like a joke because yeah. I, I, I rented the same apartment, you know, the first See, day man. I landed in Australia. Yeah. I had to rent an apartment. See, so, so you to mean the first day you arrived in Australia, you had to pay for your rent. Imagine. So this is imagine. what I'm telling you guys. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, uh, and, 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 and uh, in fact, I just came like I had to pay and uh, it's not like back at home whereby we normally pay our bills monthly wow. like here it's weekly yeah. like I had to pay like is it 120 I had to pay 120 dollars and I had to even share the room with someone and uh, yeah well imagine and you left back at home you just came here <laughs> the bills first day. already man <laughs> you have to pay bills already and on I came here on Sunday, Monday I went to school mm -hmm. and I was like, uh, guys, uh, you need to pay your school fees next week. And I was like, what the hell, man? So, I just came and I had to pay. I mm -hmm. paid already back. And I was like, it's already counted in the process that when I was waiting the visa, it was already counting. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, guys, can you just give me like two more weeks or three more weeks for mm -hmm. me? Like, let me just try to find a job and I'll pay the school fees. And they were like, oh, okay, well, I'm good. And, uh, there was no parent that I could, you know, like, hey, I need the school fees and things, but like, I had to struggle to make ends meet, you know. You were, you were all by yourself. I was all by myself, so I had to go out of the bed, go to the street, ask people, man, I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job, I can do this, like, <laughs> I just went out there and sell myself, like, I can do it. Ah, and yeah. all of a sudden, you know, I've started, we kicked off. Started in the construction industry, oh, yeah. we've been together, mm -hmm. worked there for some few uh, for years. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, I moved to the health sector. Mm -hmm. I worked as an uh, as a nurse for a little uh, while, mm -hmm. and now I'm in the ride share sector, like driving people around. Wow! So guys, you can hear about that. So uh, I'll concentrate on that, especially when you're talking about uh, you know talking about jobs uh, and switching from different jobs. So. When you see the progress now that you have finished your, 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 your studies, are you able to get a job uh, from what you studied? Uh, well, uh, not really, but again, opportunities are still there. Like if you do like, there are certain courses like which are very, very, you know, marketable. like marketable. Yeah. Like if you do it, boom, all of a sudden, like if you go into the health sector, mm -hmm. like you do like a, or a community, well, so like you'll be able to get job straight away or engineering or a medical doctor or a medical practitioner or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to get job straight away. Mm -hmm. So but there's some sectors which are very, very competitive. Like let's say the IT sector, the accounting part of it, like business administration, those things. They're very, very competitive and it's very, very hard to get a job. Mm -hmm. Like the yeah, opportunities are still there, but there are a lot of people who have got more, you know, mm -hmm. experience, but that doesn't mean, you know, you're closing all the doors so mm -hmm. those are opportunities are always open here man. Mm -hmm. so you can do anything 
Yeah. So uh, apparently, uh, we've talked about uh, you know like how how are the challenges and you know like previous challenges. So what about now? What are the current challenges that you you know you've been facing now? You finish your uh, this uh, this uh, the course that you're doing. Uh, are you you know are you are you still experiencing challenges? You know some challenges here and there. You know just the uh, uh, challenges because I believe each and every human being got his or her own challenges each and every day. You have to face you know different challenges every now and then. Uh, you know? Well, some yeah. challenges are part of life. Yeah, <laughs> they're always there, man. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. So, but it's how it's up to you how you approach it. Mm-hmm. So you need to be positive mm-hmm. first of all. Like when you are here, mm-hmm. there's a lot, a lot of challenges. Like people go nuts, man. Mm-hmm. People go mental. Yeah, it's exactly. A lot of on, the, on the on the same on the same before I forgot. Uh, I believe and I understand that this country has got. You know, this is one. Of, this country is one of the country that can put you into pressure to an extent that you develop some mental health issues. I've seen. I personally have seen a lot. Uh, some of the people that I knew very well, you know, developing mental health issues, and you know, and their stories, you know, <laughs> just finishes like that. So, at your personal level. What are you doing to to make sure you are not falling into you know into depression and other mental health issues, frustration? Because I believe uh, the, the the frustration and such kind of pressure and the depression are not just caused by the challenges that we are facing on our everyday life, but you know even from our people back at home or from our country, we are still getting some pressure that will lead us to you know to develop such kind of mental health issues. So what are you doing personally to make sure that you are you are not falling in the same? Uh, yeah, simple man. You just have to engage your mind. Like mm-hmm. when you're not working, when you're at home, mm-hmm. you know, go to the gym, mm-hmm. play soccer, mm-hmm. go meet up with the other Kenyans, you know, have barbecue. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just try to keep your mind busy. And uh, before that, the mental health thing is a serious, serious thing here. Mm-hmm. I remember this uh, one of the Kenyan ladies who just she went mental and we had to take her to Liverpool Mental Hospital. Mm-hmm. We had to, you know, make, uh, we had to meet the expenses. In other words, we that's had to true. meet the yeah. expenses. Yeah. So the thing is, there's a lot of mental health issues. There's a, and that's being brought up by the pressure. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a different lifestyle. Like mm-hmm. we have to adapt when we come here. Exactly. Like back at home, you used to, like even when you are without a job for a year, mm-hmm. you will not feel it. You, you can survive. I mean? yeah, yeah, you can survive. But when you come here, mm-hmm. I remember when I came here and I was asked, "Hey, you have to pay for your week." Yeah, I'll give you my story. Uh, so I had, uh, you see, the the same guy, the same interior. I went for a job for the first day, and uh, you know we had kind of struggles uh, between me and the you know and the employer, and I didn't like the job, so I went home. So when I got home, this guy asked me, "So now that you're home, how are you going to pay me?" And he pushed me to go seek the same employer to get him give me the job. Remember, this is the same employer that we had kind of, you know, misunderstanding, and I had to go home. Yep. And now I'm I'm being pushed back to him because I have to pay my, you know, have to pay my bills. So I know yeah. those. See, things, that's those that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you know, yeah. there's that pressure. There's, yeah, there's that, that pressure, pressure that leads to mental health issues. Yeah. And uh, if you're not clever enough, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. If you're not clever enough, mm-hmm. you may end up, you know, developing stress and uh, all of a sudden end up in the streets. Wow. And uh, I also came to realize and to learn that uh, you know the pressure from back at home. If you're if you're not true to yourself yep. and true to them, be honest with them. Like. They want you to meet some certain, you know, some criteria. certain uh, criteria or to meet some certain bills or some, you know, some certain things they want you to help them, but you can't and you're not telling them the truth. They, they keep on expecting that you're going to do it and you cannot be and they are, you know, they are, you, they are your parents, they are your friends, you know, they were close acquaintance and now you cannot be able to help them and they're expecting you to help them. And now that you can't, you have to, you know, to keep on hiding, hiding, hiding. It's good that, you know, you be true to yourself. Tell them, be, you know, be honest to yourself and it will save you to, you know, it will save you from developing uh, such kind of pressures and such kind of frustration. Uh, if I could say something about that, like, you know, families back at home, mm. I know people are expecting a lot from us and they want us to support them, you know. Mm. But one thing they should know is that life here too is hard we've got our own bills there's a lot a lot of things to attend to you've got 
the education part of it mm -hmm. you know if you if we have like if you are in a position to help them yeah well and well and good mm -hmm. all of, anyway she's your mother she is he is your dad so mm -hmm. We have to support them, mm -hmm. but I think understanding that life itself here, yeah, it's really really challenging and there's a lot of pressure. So if at all the parents back at home can understand, or all friends back at home can understand that we are undergoing all sort of these things, mm -hmm. I think and they stop pressuring you, yeah. at least that will save you a lot from developing, you know, the mental health. So thing. what can you? Uh, so uh, I just wanna, you know, get to look at the camera and what can you tell people who are at home, you know, who are watching this? Maybe you, you know, your sister or your brother or your cousin, you are, you know, you are close acquaintance who get to see this. What can you tell them about, you know, giving you pressure when they want you to, you know, to help them, and then you cannot be able to help them because of, you know, some certain reason, you know. How can you tell them to, you know, to have that kind of understanding that I understand that you cannot be able to help me at this point, but I know when you, you know, when the deal is good, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be able to to, to offer the support that I'm looking for. Uh, just one, look thing at the will, camera, uh, yeah. one thing I will tell them is like uh, just to just trust the process. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's a time we are all students, mm -hmm. and we will end up being, you know, you leave your studies, you will get a good employment, and uh, you may end up even helping them and even establishing your own family yeah, you know yeah. so i think you need to trust that process mm -hmm. like someone is he's studying he's a student give them time mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. give them time let them finish their studies uh you know let them not develop that mental health issues which are happening here and it's becoming you know a daily thing mm -hmm. so i'm like just trust the process let them finish their education you know and they will be there for you he is your brother she is your sister Nothing will separate, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So uh, again, that's a lot for you know for continued uh, support from you guys. For those who have been subscribing to my YouTube channel, for those who have been watching each and every time I upload videos, I'm really thankful, and I hope. And uh, I'm telling you, this is the best way to support me by subscribing, hitting that subscription button, like it, and I'm like telling them the uh, I'll be able to bring a lot of people. I'm look, uh, I'm looking forward for a day that I'll be able to, you know, to host an agent, you know, yep. a registered oh. migration agent because he or she will be able to give us more, 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 more information, yeah. you, know, uh, sure. you know, and this information will help them, you know, like, you know, how they can come with the skill visas, you know, different type of visas, how yeah. they, come, uh, in they fact, can maneuver in fact, from different In fact, I'm wondering, like, yeah. why are you sitting there with your degrees, with your masters, while you can apply mm -hmm. for a skill visa to these, uh, like, Australia, Canada, yeah, you can you can sell you can sell your skills. Why not? Why you, you not? just see that. Uh, Why not? Just the same way you you invested on your on your on your education. On your education. Yeah, you exactly. can also invest on your skills. 100%. You can invest on your you know on your career because 100%. I believe you can make a you know 100, you can make a hundred percent hundred percent. Like we are not saying like uh, these roses and you know all sort of good things here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Here, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I'm not saying like all people who are, who are skilled should live. Uh, Africa and uh, come here, you know, mm -hmm. but if you are there, let's say you are a registered nurse or you are a nurse in other words, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't have unemployment, yeah, you true. don't have anything, mm -hmm. so why don't you just sell that couple of yours mm -hmm. and uh, apply for a skilled visa, not mm -hmm. even a student visa, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. try your luck. You yeah, may get true. it. In this country, people are looking for nurses. Yeah, that's true. People are looking for engineers. People are looking for doctors. Yeah, that's true. People are looking for physicians. Mm -hmm. So, why not just give it a go? Yeah, that's just true. Just give it a go. So, guys, you can hear that. So, it's not from me, it's from Mohammed. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed is a good friend give of it mine. A go, guys. So, yeah, so I'm telling you the truth. Uh, the best thing are yet to come. So, I'm looking forward for a day that I'll be able to bring, you know, registered agents who will be, you know, who will be giving different type of information, information and, uh, you know, and a detailed information and, uh, you know, how people can maneuver from different visas who are living abroad, uh, you know, again. And there are people who are living in another, in another country, not just African country. There are people who are living in the US and looking forward to, Asia, you know, so, to, to, yeah. to come to Australia, Asia, or, you yeah. know, so such kind of things. So, and I'll be able to do that if at all I get, you know, at least uh, a good audience. You know, sure. I, I cannot call a registered agent to spend two hours here to yeah. explain for 20 people. 20 Honestly, people. I need at least we need more people, guys. We need, we more, need people. more people. We need more people. So I'm looking forward for you guys to help me make this channel grow and be great. So kindly subscribe if you haven't. And uh, 
pass to your friend. Get at least two, three friends to subscribe to this channel and catch up with us each and every time we upload uh, a new video. And by that, by growing that channel, we'll be able to bring a lot of people who will be able to give us more information and will be able to help a lot of people. If you have any question, if you, you know, if you have uh, any, you know, any, any comment, if you'd like us to, uh, to clarify on something, make Just sure you leave a the comment. comment section. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I'll 100%. be able to get back to you and I'll be able to, you know, to read all these comments. And I'll be able to bring a lot of people who will be able to help us. So, what do you do at the moment? What, what are the... Uh, you know? Currently, you know, I've been switching jobs mm -hmm. so that I just find something that I'm able to spend more time on myself. Mm -hmm. Go to the gym, play soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we've talked about. Yeah, mental yeah. health issues. Like, yeah, I don't want to develop it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be a victim. Yeah. So, yeah, currently I'm just working with a ride share company. Mm -hmm. Just driving people around and uh, making so, a living out of it. A Kenyan driving Uber in Australia. So you, so you can drive Uber and still make up your living. 100%. Why so, as I talked uh, in some of the, you know, there are some previous videos that I uploaded before and I talked about equipping yourself with the skills that you need when you go to that country. So if you're a student, you can also drive Uber. If, when you, you know, come here, you just have to come with your license. You just want to just come, you need yeah. to convert it and you just go into the right but if, companies. But if you don't have uh, driving skills, how are you going to drive Uber? Ah, uh, well, you can't like back at home, just try to get that uh, driver license, Kenyan driver license. You come here, like you had it for like a few years, convert it to a Australian driver license. You need to hold that license for like a year, then you'll be able to go into the right share community. So Kenyans who are preparing to come to Australia or who are preparing to whoever, go to Australia. Whoever, it's not even Kenyans, whoever, yeah. any person, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Don't yeah. limit, sorry, don't limit sorry. the channel so, to Kenyans. Sorry, sorry, sorry to these guys, guys who are, yeah, who, who are, who are watching living watching in another people. country, maybe African country, or Iraqis, maybe Nigerians, Iraqis, maybe Ugandans. Iranians, Iraqis, Palestinians, they're all there, man. So guys, if you're planning to come to Australia, if you're planning to go to another country across the world, make sure you have driving skills, make sure you go to your license it will really really help you to get jobs or to work in you know in different sectors and i hope in fact in every job like the first thing they will ask you is do you have a driver license of course yeah believe me yeah that's true they will ask you like, yeah do you have a driver license and they will they're even interested more in australian driver license like do you have an australian driver license mm. so the thing is the thing is you just have to convert your kenyan license mm -hmm or to whatever license you have to a local one have it for a year you get your piece if you're under 25 green fees red fees and finally you graduate to have a license wow 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 so thanks a lot guys for watching and thanks a lot mohammed for the information Perfect, that man. you have given cheers, us man. Cheers, and thanks cheers, a lot for man. your time so we appreciate it's and been my pleasure i hope this will help someone who is preparing and who is uh, on the journey or who is thinking about life abroad. So again, this is the uh, real life abroad. Uh, I, I call it real life abroad, life abroad because yeah, this is the that's, real. That's the reality. <laughs> so I try to, to put the, the reality. Without the any sugar coating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There is nothing to hide here. Yeah, there is nothing yeah, to put in, You know, there's nothing to hide. So this is real life abroad. I hope to catch up with, uh, to catch up with you guys. And thanks a lot for the support that I've been receiving from you guys. Thanks a lot. May God bless you. Cheers.